Alright guys, welcome back to another IELT tutorial. Uh, sorry if I sound a little stuffed up in this video. I kind of just woke up today. I'm very stuffy. But uh, I thought this would be an interesting tutorial because I never cover mid-tiers. It's just not really something I normally play, like I would play. I'm more of an Apex main. And I didn't really think that Serato had a good chance of beating Aloe in a fight. And like, regardless, like just as like a disclaimer for this, like Aloe does win this matchup more than Serato, but a lot of people, including myself, um, before, thought that Serato just couldn't really be a really good Aloe, that it was like impossible. But this is to show that it's actually not impossible for Serato to be a good Aloe. It just all kind of comes down to timing, because you're trying to make the uh, Aloe miss its bite, tail nipping, and understanding how to actually ride an Aloe properly. So if you're not careful, it can nip your tail if you're not angled right. But if you're too far in, because obviously you want to tuck your head in on the rise, you're trying to tuck your tail in. But if your head's too far into the aloe's body, you can actually get caught by a break check, and that can get you killed as well. So it is tough, but it's not impossible. Like aloe can actually die to Serato. So let's look at some examples of some fights. So here. I'm fighting its run so you can see the kind of distance I'm trying to get I cannot go in on aloe if I go in on aloe that's death you cannot go in on aloe normally it's suicide because you're gonna go in you're gonna get double bit and the aloe is gonna run and you're gonna have two bleed if you get bit three times you're dead you're gonna bleed out from running around so the idea is, is you're trying to keep this kind of distance you're waiting for the aloe to make a mistake like this. I see a, he bit me with a double, but I'm on him with tail nips. So I nipped the shit out of him right there. And because I was so close to him, when he actually runs out of ambush, I'm right on him. He thought he could turn around to get my tail, but I was able to do a little tap and tuck my tail. And you can see, I managed to finish him off. He thought he was going to get me on entry, but it was too late. I just barely slipped in and I tucked my tail in. So again, here's another matchup with him. I'm keeping my distance, making sure to not go towards him. And I don't want to be too close either because he can do a little slide break check on you and run away in a circle, which is very, very tough. As you can see though, I turn out, he misses just all together. <laughs> and I tail nip him as we're running away. And I'm chasing him down. You can see he's going to make some good distance. And I just cut in. He clips my tail though. But he doesn't get a double. However, see what I was saying? If you're too far in the body, he'll clip your face. I made the mistake there. And he clipped my face because I went too far up when he break checked me. So he actually clipped my face there. So as you can see, I'm trying to make him miss his double. He had gotten really good distance. So I wiggled back and forth. To make him miss the double, I slipped in and was able to finish him off there. So again, another fight. It's going to be the same kind of principle. Just trying to bait him in. He's going to bite. He's tried the break check, but because Aloe has a slide and I pivoted to the side, he couldn't do that to me. And that's why you keep distance. Because you don't want Aloe to be able to stop on top of you. As you can see, he clipped my tail when I was sliding in, but I bit him a bunch of times. I'm saving my ambush. I'm going after him. Aloe's just so much faster, so you want to be able to have ambush to chase him down, right? Like, look at the distance he got in this fight. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm wiggling. I'm just trying to... I know I'm going to get hit normally, but I'm just trying to make him miss double, which he actually missed all together right there. And now I know I'm one bite from death. I'm sitting here thinking what I want to do, and I know I'm going to have to go for it. I'm just trying to make him guess when I'm going to run at him. So I'm getting closer, I'm going to go for a double bite here. One, two. And I was able to get him before his bite could even register on me. So very close, that one. So again, another fight. I'm sitting here, I'm wiggling, I'm keeping my distance, I'm trying to make sure, see, he runs a circle around me, and I actually don't get tail nips on this one. But I, he didn't get a double on me, and that's the important part. Because Sarah just takes so much damage when it's running and it's bleeding. 
But as you can see, I was able to slip in, but he clipped my face. But I got a ton of bites on him because he wanted to go for a break check. He's running away, but I'm right on him. He's going to run out of ambush. I'm going to slip in. <clears throat> Tucking my tail in. You can see he's looking up to try and clip my tail, but I was able to tuck that in. I've gotten a bunch of tail nips, and he bleeds out. It's very, very close. This vice is always going to be very close for the Serato, because it is in the aloe's favor, but this does show how Serato is capable. So again, I'm wiggling, and he misses his double, and you can see how aloe runs a circle to try and screw you up to make you miss with the tail nips. But I'm okay because I at least got a couple bites. As you can see, I'm doing a little tap to tuck my tail in. If I didn't do that and I just tried to straight up turn, he's going to look up. He's going to snipe my tail. There's that little moment you got to go and tap shift and you're just tucking your tail in so he doesn't hit you. And it's just, you got to really watch for, um, oh, that juke. <laughs> that juke. Yeah, that wiggle back and forth can really mess with people. They think you're going to go one way sometimes, and they'll just completely overturn. All I really do that for is to make Aloe miss its double, but it's also a good way to make them confuse for a juke. And there's a good example, actually, right here. That Aloe tried to slide and stop on me. This is why you pivot. Because if Aloe goes for that, it has such a large slide that it's likely going to overshoot. You can see here, like, I killed this aloe before he could even really get ambush again. Like, he's just dead at this point. He took a bunch of bites. And he didn't get me on my entry. So I'm going after him. Wiggle strat. He hits me once. I go for him. It's over. The whole idea, right? If aloe does bite early and you're wiggling, just don't go in. Just wiggle. Like, or just stand, like, kind of far away from his face so you're not going to get clipped. So this final fight, this isn't actually me in this final fight. Uh, this is a fight of Noah fighting an aloe. And you can see he's doing the same sort of thing. He's hanging far away. He's just trying to bait the aloe to come after him. And again, you can see how he kind of pivots out. And look how that, he's just right on the aloe's tail. Just absolutely shredding him with the tail nips. And you're going to see here, he actually kills this aloe before I can even get another ambush. If it's executed perfectly, aloe gets destroyed by this tactic. So, I hope you guys like this little tutorial. And this, I hope this shows just how it's not impossible for Serato to defeat an aloe. Because again, even like I thought before that this fight was just fully, fully in the aloe's favor. And there was like nothing Serato could really do. But it turns out that is not the case, and that Serato is actually capable of killing a good aloe. Or at least an aloe that knows to double bite and run away, or aloes that know to double bite, they run a circle and run away, and know to tail nip and snipe and stuff. So I just, I hope this little tutorial helps you guys. So if you like this video, make sure to leave a like and comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.